So you'll notice I do a couple things when I pull out the hive. I never go to the outside frame. I never start in the middle. So you always want to start, um, this one's always the hardest, the outer frame or number 10 or number one. Um, so we usually try to do two or three because if you do to the middle, you run the risk of damaging the queen or killing the queen um, if you have to sort of finagle these frames out a little rough. So we always start with the, a couple frames in. If I see eggs that has definitely had a queen in the last three days, um, and then the larval stage is six days. So if I see a one day old larva, you know, a two day old larva, I can actually go back in time and figure out, you know, what the queen's been doing and or figure out and hive where she's been. So that's what I'm really looking for is signs of larva um, and eggs. Um, what I'm doing is trying to help her reorganize because what you want to see is the brood in the center. So I relocated all the brood frames so they are in the center. And then I want to see um, honey stores on the outside and our food frames. So I also want to see the pollen on those, on those uh, food frames on the outside of that. And so hopefully what that'll do is give the hive a chance to keep that center core of brood really warm so they can develop properly. And in this case, to allow this queen to have some room to lay eggs. So this is, uh, smoker fuel is kind of fun. It's, it's like uh, very personal what people use for smoker fuel. Um, I'm using a combination of uh, of, uh, of pine straw and these sumac, these little um, sumac heads. And so what the sumac does is it burns really cool and it smells really good because I don't like the smell. You know, I want us to be campfire all day. Um, and then of course this burns really well because of the, the resin in it. So it's an easy start. So what this does is it, um, a couple things. So it masks chemicals in the hive so the bees basically are a little bit calmer. So you aren't you know going in just completely blind and they're not doing a defensive mechanism for you and the other thing it does is it it's kind of fun to think about but it mimics this um fight or flight response because the bees think their house is on fire so they go down and gorge in honey um instead of you know wondering what you're doing we don't want to keep hives open for too long in the fall because there is so much robbing that happens because the resources are scarce this time of year and also because of the drought has been really hard on bees you know to get enough nectar and so when you leave the hive exposed like this it's an opportunity for other bees to come along that aren't part of this hive as you can see this bee is a good example of trying to get that bee off there because that's not a good part of this hive um, to, to come in and try to steal resources from this hive and rob it and we don't want that to happen.